Yo, what's going on guys? And I want to talk about the monster that is Carl Anthony Towns. This man made the Warriors look goofy, okay? Like literally you saw Carl Anthony Towns feast early on a break, okay? Taking advantage of the front line of Otto Porter Jr. Jonathan Kaminga, okay? And he just did it in transition. And then he's also showing his power advantage over players. He just regularly dominated the Warriors. And the thing is, is that this is a team, the Minnesota. Minnesota is a good team. People forget about that. Okay? And I know that this was a big game more for the Warriors because, you know, Andrew Wiggins going against his former team. But... This was a game where the Minnesota Timberwolves and Carl Anthony Towns was showing and flexing that he is a menace, okay? And I think he's a guy that Carl Anthony Towns is having a career year, putting up big boy numbers, playing good defense for the first time in a long time. And I think he's a guy that could definitely be an all-NBA team member, I think. And I think he's definitely a guy that people need to be starting to give look and say, damn, Carl Anthony Towns plays both sides of the ball. He's not just the greatest shooting big man of all time. All right? And I think this is a guy who's awesome, okay? And let's just talk about the numbers because Carl Anthony Towns is just doing stuff that is on a whole nother level, okay? And that's the thing. I'm telling you, the Dominican American, okay, has just been putting up numbers at an unprecedented rate. He's shooting over 40% from three, 53% from the field, basically on 25 points, 10 rebounds almost, four assists. This man's dropping dimes, setting up teammates like he never has before, okay? The the past like three years we've seen, I mean, he's just doing what he's done for the past three years, but the past three years, Carl Anthony Towns an underrated passer. He's a guy who gets at least a block a game. This year's a block and a steal guy, okay? He's all around, I think, one of the most well-rounded bigs in the NBA. And the thing is, is his ability to be shooting, like, I don't know, can we go back to Carl Anthony Towns that was shooting, like, eight threes a game? He was shooting that at, like, 43%. God damn. But still, this is a guy who shoots an incredible amount of threes, and he just puts them up there, and he's... In, He's incredible at it, and he's so much fun to watch. And last year was a down year, and he's just came back with vengeance. And I'm just happy. He's turning Minnesota into a winner, and that's all we can ask for. All we want as Timberwolves fans is just some dubs, okay? It feels like we've gone through so long without any success. And now that we're starting to see it with a combination of Carl Anthony Towns and our man, D'Angelo Russell and Anthony Edwards looking like something special. Pat Bev leading the defensive change that we needed. And that's the thing. People don't realize this is all stuff that we needed. Like, it was bad, guys. We weren't going to be the team that we are today if it wasn't for the moves that we did make. And I think that's something people do not realize. Okay? We are a team that I think we've grown as a whole. And we're defensively better. We have a new identity. And I think Carl Anthony Towns is a big part of that. So that's where I want to hear your guys' thoughts. If you guys are on the same page with me or if this is just me. And, yeah, I think this is where we're going to wrap up the video, guys. If you made it to the end of the video, like and subscribe. I got to go to class. It's 1225. Class is at 1245. It's a 10-minute walk from where I park. So, and this video still needs the render. I hope you guys do have a great day. School sucks. I love school, though. I actually love it. Just the process of getting to campus blows. Peace out, guys.